Welcome back to Rebuilding Astro World. This is Swag Titties, and today we are going to basically use the new ride to formulate a better area with pathing and walls. And uh, I think I'm changing up the way I'm doing the park. I'm really going to focus on the rides in the area first before doing the buildings. So I built this ride at the end of last episode. I want to use it to help shape this area around Barnstormer. Uh, Barnstormer is the sky coaster and it has like a red building right here. It's an upcharge attraction in real life. So there's like a building you walk up, you pay t for your ticket and then you hop in line and you go into the, the ride. Oh, it's so funny. This guy's fixing the ride, like floating in midair. Um, so I want to clean up the queue. I want to add some awnings like they have in real life as well. And then I think I'm going to kind of figure out there's a building over here. I don't know if I'm going to put a building right here per se. And I don't think... I'm going to keep these two buildings in the same spots as they are in the end. So I really kind of, I'm going to get away from this. I'm going to leave it as, uh, you know, just finished product for now. But I know in the future, I'm going to come back and probably redo all of this. And I kind of mentioned that in the end of the last episode. But what I really want to do is make this bridge transition feel less awkward. Um, it's really easy to make a straight, thin bridge over this area. But to really make the park pop and feel more organic, it's got to have a better structure to the pathing overall. So that's what we're going to do this episode. It's sort of a mind shift episode. So bear with me as I take my time to really start getting what I want. Because the worst thing that can happen is I start losing interest in the park because I feel like I'm not building it to the way I want to build it just because I want to finish it. So I appreciate your guys' patience. I'm going to start doing this the way I would do other contest entries as well. Um, so this is going to be fun and uh, let's get to it. I was able to update this area and I really like the organic flow of the pathway. It's got sort of the go around this ride exit. It's got some curve to it. I really like this little semicircle right here. I feel like putting some planters or maybe some trees is going to help the path look a lot better. Right here in the park, they do have kind of like a line of trees that 
just looks nice. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just a line of trees that looks nice. And in the real park, it's this is actually just a really long straight shot. So the trees really block the lines of sight to make the park look a little bit more dense. Uh, but since I'm going with a, you know, a little bit more unique flow, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do the lines of trees the entire way. I, I plan on doing them right here, maybe with some cool plants. Uh, you may have noticed in the time lapse that this building uh, was not part of the time lapse. Uh, that part was corrupted. I am sorry. I don't want to rebuild it. Uh, but this little building, super nice. It's not exactly the same shape as the real life building, but I think I like what's going on. The awnings are very close to what the real life awnings look like. They're just kind of like squares or rectangles where I'm assuming it's just meant for shade for maybe the the people who work the ride. And then, of course, an awning to cover up the people swinging down so that there's no debris that hits anybody crossing the bridge. So that's what we got going on. I think the next thing I'm going to do is make this water area a little bit more organic in the back here. It doesn't really have a perfect rectangle. It kind of trails off. And then I think I'm going to work over here on the pathways. So that's what's next. So we just went through two different time lapses, the uh, organic water build, and then this little platform right here and a wider bridge. So the 
ideas that are going through my head is either I do a wide bridge or a thinner bridge with the kind of a support in the middle. It's oh, right here. You can see that support is going to look asymmetric. So either I make this bridge one tile longer, which is not the end of the world, or I switch things up. I think I'm just going to make it one tile longer and then have a platform similar on this side uh, to help it feel like this bridge is equivalent. I don't know how to say it right, but yeah, this thing is my favorite little potato. No, uh, the big thing about this platform is it's going to allow elevation changes in what is a really, really flat park. Uh, it also makes the bridge feel less jump out ish like, oh, yeah, we got this really tall bridge. Most parks would have a very smooth walkway up to the bridge. They're not going to have stairs. So the best thing you can do in Roller Coaster Tycoon is make platforms uh, at different heights that bring your peeps where they need to go. I think this is really going to make the plaza in here look a little bit more differentiated. Just imagine this was all flat. It'd feel re really plain. Uh, so I really do like this. I think what this has done though is it's left too little space for me to put this restaurant building over here. So either I make this restaurant building sort of overlap the existing plaza or I really shift this building over and leave quite a bit of space and kind of make the path loop around and have an area for the building right here and then maybe push this theater back and make it rectangular instead of on the diagonal. That's kind of what I was leaning towards anyways in the future. For now, we're going to leave this like this. We're going to leave that building out of the build and we're going to focus on building over here and maybe figuring out how we're going to do the queue for this ride um, in a future episode. So that's where I'm going to leave off in this episode. I know it wasn't too much. We got a building done. We got some details. I also added these little tabs. I looked at a Sky Coaster in real life. They have little tabs right here. I'm not sure if that's just where the cables kind of interact when they're pulling it up, but I think it looks nice. And overall, I think we've made some progress in shaping the park the way we want to shape it. I said last episode, macro is going to be more important than the details. I am thoroughly going to work through it. I like the way this ride interacts with this platform. And I really do think it is a positive step in the right direction for my brain while I build the park. And then, of course, the episode is a little bit shorter, but that's what's going to have to happen while I got this new job. And uh, I can't really spend too much time every single day of the week to build these videos. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time on Rebuilding Astroworld. Swag out.